it's Kimberly here with Info Brains. Welcome to my channel. Again, if you're just joining me, so glad you're here. Thanks so much for subscribing and liking. And if you're like, what is it with this channel? Well, let me tell you. Right now, my husband and I, the Brit, we're doing some traveling. If you haven't been watching my videos and you don't know, uh, we are based out of the United States in California, but we are currently on a seven week trip. We did four weeks on a cruise ship and we are then now spending three weeks in Australia. So we got off our cruise ship about a week ago in Sydney, Australia. We spent a couple days with some friends in Adelaide, which is just west of Sydney. Well, a little farther west. And then uh, now we are in Fremantle, which is in Western Australia. And it is a, it's not a suburb, but it is a neighboring city to Perth. So basically we're, we're kind of in Perth. All right, but let's really, let's talk about yarn because really that's what we're here for. But like I said, there's so many great creative things. So we found a yarn store in downtown Fremantle, which I was a little surprised about actually. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller, but it's a very creative area. So the yarn store is called Yarns on Collie. C-O-L-L-I-E is the name of the street. Very, very easy to find right around the corner from the markets. And um, actually, the address is 19 Collie Street. And it's wonderful because they have a brick and mortar as well as an online shop. Hey there, and she's we're here with the Rings. And we found the yarn store. We're here in Fremantle, Australia, Western Australia. And we found Yarns on Collie. So we're going to take a look inside. Woolshop.com.au. I don't know how she was lucky enough to get a website named Woolshop.com because that seems very generic, but 
she did. So if you live anywhere, and I was speaking to the owner, if you live anywhere within Australia, they will ship countrywide throughout Australia. Can't guarantee any other places, but they will. She had a great selection of a lot of your, your patents, uh, your Catan, your, you know, your, your standard brands, but she did also have some local yarns, some that were local and specific to Australia, but I was able to find a yarn, a hand dyer that is um, from Western Australia. So this dyer um, is from a place called Gijian Gannup. Um, she's in the, the hills outside of Perth, so very, very, very local. Um, this again is called Rose, and this is hand dyed. What was interesting too is that not only is it all hand dyed using totally safe um, products, they're dyed with environmentally friendly acid dyes that contain no heavy metals. Um, all are created in very, very small batches so that no two are the same. As a matter of fact, this one is called Rose, and I got the only two that were there, so I can make something really nice. It's about 800, just under 800 meters for these two. Um, she also uses rainwater from the tanks and no single-use plastic in her dyeing to make sure that the skeins, um, that there's minimal environmental impact, which I really appreciate as well. Um, and all the labels even, and the paper and the packaging are all made from recycled products. So about as local as you can get and really sustainable, environmentally friendly, very low carbon impact, very low carbon footprint. So the brand again is called Dying For You, D-Y-E-I-N-G, the number four, E-W-E. -E. She has a Facebook page, she has a website, so I'm, of course I'm going to include all of this below. Um, but the yarn store on Kali, really great selection. A lot of um, more of your like mainstream yarns, so a good amount of acrylic, a lot of needlepoint, cross stitch, different kinds of embroidery and craft supplies, as well as a very good supply of knitting and of course crocheting, knitting needles, crocheting hooks, different things like that, and then some really nice yarn. Again, she's got some that's specific to Australia and specific to, now from what I could see, this was the only independent locally sourced um, yarn company, yarn dyer that I found in her store. She showed me this one little cubby and that's where I went, but this is what I got. Isn't it beautiful? It's called Rose, something I haven't really gone for before, this is again dying for you. The store is called Yarn on Collie, C O L L I E, Yarns on Collie, at 19 Collie Street in Free Mantle. If you live in Australia or anywhere and you find yourself going to Australia or Perth, you really, really, I think, do yourselves a favor, head on down to Free Mantle, spend a day. So we're staying at the Free Mantle bed and breakfast. Um, we're staying on the top floor. It's a room called the Tarantella, which I was told today means tarantula, of course, of course. Now, if you don't know much about Australia, um, I have been told that Australia is a land that wants to kill you. And pretty much everything from the vines, to the bugs, to the snakes, to the seashells, to the octopus, to the pretty much everything, even these beautiful birds want to kill you. What I have found is that um, only if you are aggressive towards them only if they feel threatened. So as long as I'm being nice and peaceful and we're all kumbayaing together, we should be good. But still, it's a little, a little unnerving, but so far it's been a really, um, a really, really beautiful, beautiful place. But I am in love with a free mantle. So we're staying in this bed and breakfast. It was built back in the 1800s. And apparently this building was originally built for the German uh, consulate. Now where I'm sitting right now, is actually a like a little alcove off of the master bed which is great so for you know it's a, um, a wrought iron bed beautiful antique -y. Um, this feels like a fireplace to me but I don't think that it is there's a window right above me here there seems to be somewhat of a transom up here um, but apparently the German consulate lived here and worked here, but then got thrown out because he was spying. Because from the window that's right up here, you can look out and see the harbor he was spying during the war. Um, and then from after that, this was turned into, uh, I think a distillery, a spirits place. And then at one time it was a nightclub. So, uh, and then it's been a bed and breakfast, I think for a little while, but it, this, this particular building has had, um, a lot of lives, but it's just absolutely wonderful. So we're on the very top, top floor. Uh, what else do I love about Australia? Well, 
the people are amazing. So friendly, so nice. Um, we've seen wild kangaroos running around. We've seen the most amazing birds, tropical looking birds, um, uh, uh, lorikeets, cockatiels, cockatoos, par uh, parrots, koalas, so many birds and animals. I've seen kookaburras. Didn't think I was going to see that. That was pretty amazing. This is the only snake that uh, I want to come in contact with. Now, any of you who are from Australia, you know, you know what I'm holding. Yes, this Allen's Candy brand is very popular over here. I can't quite get enough of this candy. It's so good. It's uh, low in sugar. I think these are probably my third or fourth bag, but we're doing so much walking. I'm like, it's okay. It's all going to zero out. So these right now, these are my current bag of um, frogs alive. These have kind of a raspberry taste to them. These are delicious. I really, really like the pythons because they literally change color. with the, They change flavor. So you go from the lime to the cherry to the strawberry to the lemon back to the orange. I mean, they have every single flavor in this guy. It was so good. No artificial colors. I'm sure there's some preservatives, but not a lot of um, sugar. People here in Australia, if anybody here is watching, oh my gosh, you guys are serious about your lolly stores. Lolly in Australia and in the UK means like a candy store. They are everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Top to bottom shelves. Rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of every kind of candy you could possibly imagine. And so much of these guys. So much. I've had the pineapples. I've had the retro party mix. I've had the strawberries and cream. I'm now on my pythons and my uh, frogs. So much candy in this country, let me just tell you. Now, we are walking a lot. We're doing about mm, 20,000 steps a day. So I don't feel so bad about this. And this is really the only snake that I really want to come in contact with. But comment below if you are from Australia or maybe even New Zealand or the UK or anywhere and you happen to know about this Allen Candies and comment below and let me know your favorite flavor because I am jonesing over here. I don't know if I can get these. I'm sure I can't get these in the US. I have to get them online, but they are the bomb. They are like crack candy, these guys. So, um, loving the candy, loving the people, loving the scenery, the nature, um, loving the yarn that I found. Now, I'll do another one. I haven't really gotten a lot farther on Van Gogh's Starry Night. I'll come back and I'll do another video and I'll show you, you know, like what I've done. Just having a wonderful time with it. I might get it finished before we finish the trip. I might. We might have some time with that. Um, every other project I've done is finished and I don't think... I'm going to start anything with these. Well, this one I'm not because I'm going to have to wind this. Um, and this one I could I could start, but I think I'll just really work on my Starry Night Shawl. I think I'll really focus on that one. This is the yarn I got in Sydney. This is Morrison Sons. And this is the yarn that I got yarns on Kali, and this is the Dying for You. Definitely should check these guys out. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at the color in there. Uh, uh, yeah, it's I like the speckle of this, um, where it's not really a total variegated. It almost reminds me of kind of an Easter egg. As you can see in here, I've got some really pretty speckles coming in there. You can see that. Oh, great color. This is called Rose. So uh, I'm excited about this one. All right, well, that's it for me right now. Comment below. Let me know what you guys got going on, um, what you think about the yarns. Uh, we'll be here for another two weeks. We're heading out to Rottenest Island, and I've got to give you a video on that one because I'm going to be communing with the quokkas. And if you don't know what a quokka is, stay tuned. You will be falling in love. 
Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I tell you, we do talk about yarn and crochet, but we do a little bit of travel as well. We'll be back home. We're flying home on Thanksgiving. So then we're gonna got we're gonna be back in the in the craft room in the babe cave talking about all kinds of stuff. And I've got some really exciting updates for you as well. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, tell all your friends about them, send them on over here because we're traveling through Australia and also talking about yarn. And as always, this is Kimberly with Knit for Brains, and I'll see you soon.